the Vice Chancellor of the University of Cape Town, Prof. Mamukheti Pakeng, Professor Zaik Sinda, our most revered author, Ms. Lara Foot Newton, the Creative Director of the Baxter Theatre, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, greetings to you all. Thank you very much, Dr. Maharaswa, uh, for the generous welcome. I kept thinking, should I, should I mute you so that you stop with the long profile? <laughs> but thank you very much. You're very generous. Bahaitu Dumela, good evening, Sanwonani, Molweni. It's so good to welcome you here. I am delighted to welcome you to the official South African book launch of Arola, a journey into 10 ancient African civilizations by Professor Zeg Sundar. Professor Zanemvula Kizito Gacheni Mda is an acclaimed South African novelist, poet, playwright, and filmmaker. I'm told that he spent his early childhood in Soweto, but left the country in 1963 when his father went into exile, and some of us were not even ideas. Over this period away from South Africa, he completed his first play, We Shall Sing for the Fatherland, which in 1978, won the first Amstel Playwrights of the Year Award. In 2004, his 2004 novel, The Madonna of Excelsior, was named as one of the top 10 South African books published in the decade of democracy. Professor Mda has published 25 books, 11 of which are novels. As I am sure many of you know, he has won several major South African and international literary awards and is a recipient of the Order of Ikamanga in Silver, a national award of the South African government. Our connection with Professor Mda goes much deeper. He is a proud alumnus of UCT, having obtained his PhD from the University of Cape Town in 1990. And in 2012, he was awarded a UCT honorary doctorate in literature, a DLIT, for his contribution to the world of literature. He is also a donor to the university. In 2011, he donated the proceeds of a literary award to the creative writing program established in the Faculty of Humanities. And tonight, he'll be in conversation with fellow UCT alumna, CEO and director and artistic director of the Baxter Theater, Lara Foote, who adapted one of his novels, Ways of Dying, into a production for the Baxter. Thank you very much and good evening everyone and thank you to the Vice Chancellor for those very inspiring words. First of all, congratulations on your beautiful and exquisite and crucially important book. I loved the book and I was particularly sad that I had never had access to this story of Arola and I had never been educated in ancient African history and I know we spoke of this the other day and you said that you too had only just recently uh, become aware of our history. The story traces little Arola's journey as she goes back in time to visit 10 ancient African civilizations. It's a book for children, young adults and for mature adults like myself who have never been educated in African history. Tell us a little about the book and why you wrote it. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Lara. I'm very happy to see you. You know that you are one of my heroes, having you know directed some of my plays, especially Ways of Dying, which you did some years back at the, uh, at the Market Theatre, and then recently at the Baxter Theatre. Now, to answer your question, Lara, which is, why did I write this book? You stated that uh, you were never educated in this African history. But you are not the only one who was not educated in this African history. I, myself, was never educated in this African history. I went to school 
as it was stated already, first went to school, primary school, Soweto, then the Eastern Cape, and then I went to a high school in Lesotho, which is in Africa here. Yeah. Um, and then I went to university and elsewhere, you know, in Europe, Europe and all that. But throughout all that education, I was told that Africa had no history. In other words, great historians, such as, for instance, a very famous historian called Hugh Trevor Roper, who's an Oxford University historian, once wrote, and I'm just going to quote here, um, Perhaps in the future, there will be some African history to teach. But at present, there is none. Only the history of Europeans in Africa. The rest is darkness. Just to sum up a little bit, the book itself explores all these different civilizations. I've created a fictional character called Arola, who then uses the time machine of her imagination. In other words, it's not a tangible time machine. Using her Im imagination, she goes back to the past to visit the various civilizations. At first, she goes to the Nubian Empire of Kush, where she learns various things about it. Then she goes to Aksum, she goes to Mali, she goes to Ghana, she goes to the various civilizations. And each one of those is accurately portrayed from, from the research. The only fictional thing there is the character herself, you know, who takes us to these civilizations, namely the little girl Arola. To the Vice Chancellor, Professor um, Parking, and your team that includes the alumni uh, directorate, and uh, that includes also the Baxter Theatre, uh, Melara. We cannot thank you enough for accepting our proposal to partner with yourselves. We had imagined a launch of a different kind, but you actually took us um, a level higher. So we shall forever be uh, grateful for for that. Uh, now we have questions about um, where the books can be, you know, bought. Order through an email. We'll give you the the particulars, you know, um, as we send correspondence after the event. But for now, um, it is Ntutua at St Francis Productions um, dot org. N T H utsoa at st francis productions.org but we will send correspondence to all the people that we had invited and in our, on our public um, social media platforms i think at this point i would like now to oblige and allow a mesli boom Nabam to convey a vote of thanks Thank you very much, uh, Mayor Mahaswa, Prof. Zek Sinda. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, unfortunately, very sadly, we've reached the end of the program. I say sad because we could have continued listening, I think, for another half an hour, an hour uh, more. Um, uh, I think my task is the easiest, probably the most pleasant task of all, and that is to thank everybody. Uh, on behalf of the Development and Alumni Department here at UCT, We'd like to obviously extend a, a huge thank you to Professor Nda for such a wonderful opportunity to engage with you this evening. Uh, thank you for this important conversation, reminding us of our history, of our place and our contribution as Africans. You, you really are an inspiration, you're a legend, and it was a privilege to launch Aurora uh, with you. Of course, we're very grateful to the Vice Chancellor, Professor Mamakhet Pakeng, for hosting us this evening um, and for the inspirational uh, welcoming remarks um, that she made. Thank you to Lara Foot um, for being part of this evening's conversation. I, I think it was so, so perfect in, in, in so many ways. 
uh, particularly be because of the connection you already have to Professor Mda's work. Um, and it was so delightful to hear Professor Mda refer to you as his hero. Um, that was really special. Thank you, Lara. Um, to our event partners, thank you. Uh, we thank you for choosing UCT to be the first um, official uh, you know, destination to host Arola. Uh, and we want to thank you for walking this journey with us. Um, we want to thank you, uh, obviously, our event, um, the support services uh, partners, um, our ICTS team, uh, you know, different units who help make this event possible. And finally, and, uh, you know, not least, we want to thank our distinguished guests, our alumni, uh, UCT staff and students and friends of the university who took the time to join us this evening. We hope that you really enjoyed this special encounter with Professor Zeksandar. Uh, we, we, we are hoping that when he comes back to Cape Town soon, that we will have another opportunity um, so that people can, you know, engage with you in person, get those books uh, autographed and uh, take photos with you. We would really welcome that opportunity. Uh, we were very sad to hear that you couldn't board the flight, but we will continue to stalk uh, Dr. Maharasa for that opportunity again. Yes. Uh, and uh, finally, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to encourage you to attend future UCT alumni events and to support the Baxter Theatre, which is now fully open to the public. There are many fantastic productions and shows on the go. Um, so please, you know, visit the Baxter website and have a look at what the shows that are coming up. And uh, do follow UCT alumni on social media. Um, thank you and good night.